It's me, it's Queen Oset Haru, and I'm here today with another exciting edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Okay, so I was talking to an Aries female last night, and she's in a relationship with an Aquarius male. Now, you guys already know, <laughs> I told you this is a volatile combination. Sometimes it's a good combination, but it's very potentially volatile and they're going to the they're going through the volatile part so what she said to me is is that she doesn't understand why her Aquarius boyfriend is so personable like when they're out on the street and when they um when they're like seeing you know uh people strangers even um his um his friends um, the other family members, uh, people, uh, he, he has a job in, uh, human services. So she said that when it's time to do any kind of community service or things like that, that he's so personable, he's laughing, he's talking, he's joking. Everybody loves him. You know, it's such a light to him, but when they get behind closed doors, he's quiet. He's quiet. He is, uh, not as personable. And she's like, What's the problem? You know, 15 minutes ago, we were at the, you know, um, you know, a volunteer <laughs> program and you were talking to everybody and you were just, you know, the life of the party. And now we're home and I'm asking you questions and you're giving me one word answers. So she's asking me, like, what's the deal? She's like, I've been with him for years. He is um, present financially. He, you know, he goes in on everything, buys things for her, you know, bought her a car last year. You know, he's very present and he's very in the relationship. Um, he pays bills, you know, they do things together, but he just is not as personable and talkative and open as he is in public and around his friends. And she doesn't understand. And when she asks him, like, are you unhappy with me? You know, you know, is it me? He just tells her something to the effect of, no, nah, no, nah, we cool. No, nah, we cool. <laughs> you know, that's how she said he answers the question. So she's asking me, like, is he, is what is wrong with him? Like, what's, we've been going together for years and he's always been like this. Like, she thought that as they progressed in their relationship that he would change. And I'm like, no, nah, that's kind of how we are. Because one of the things about Aquarius, when we're home, we're off. When we're outside, we're on, you know, that's when the charm comes out. That's when the actor or the actress comes out. That's when all of that energy comes out. When we're home, a lot of times we're drained from doing that all day. <laughs> a lot of times we're drained from being on all day. We don't want to be on at home. You know, and I was telling her, I was like, if there are no problems between you, if he has no resentments towards you, if he's not angry with you about anything, if there's nothing wrong and he's just quiet, but not in a bad mood per se, because she said he's not cranky. He's not angry. He's just quiet. And I'm like, he's recharging. It's recharging. He's recharging his batteries. He has been on for like 17 hours. <laughs> He's been out there kissing babies and, you know, doing the Aquarius thing. We're spinning around, having a good time, laughing and joking. That's exhausting. You can't do that 24 hours. So when he comes home, he wants to rest. That's his sanctuary. That's his downtime. You know, he wants to, you know, drink his drink. She said he likes Hennessy. He wants to drink his Henny. He wants to chill. He wants to watch the game. He wants to unwind. He doesn't really want to be on, you know? And I was telling her, I said, you guys have to talk about it. You know, I know he said, we cool, we cool. But you need to sit him down and say, hey, I really want to discuss this with you and have this conversation. And I told her, I said, I don't think a great deal of it will change because he needs to recharge his batteries. Like a cell phone needs to be plugged in. And if you complain to the cell phone about not having enough battery juice when it needs to be plugged in, it's nothing a cell phone can do. But... If he is conscious and he seems to be in this relationship, if he bought you a car, he's in this relationship, you know? So my thing is, is that if he's in this relationship and he's standing up in every other way, not doing anything, not being sneaky, you know, not, you know, creeping off with other women, he's in it. Then that means that he's just recharging. When he comes home, he's tired. He needs to recharge from being on all day. So enjoy him on when you're out. <laughs> you know, and when you come in, 
allow him to recharge or recharge with him. He's having his henny, rub his feet, rub his back. He's having his henny, light some candles, you know, help him recharge and recharge at the same time, you know, line yourself up. You need to recharge too. So while he's recharging, you know, get in on it with him. You know, you said you're already in the room with him. Instead of nagging him about why he's not talking to you, about why he's not, you know, doing whatever you want him to do, just sit with him and do what he's doing. He's sitting there having a drink. You sit there and have a drink. If you don't drink, just sit there with him and listen to music. Rub his feet, rub his back. They, we like attention in those ways. And it shows us that you understand and that you're trying to connect, you know, um, do things for him that help him relax, you know, run him a bubble bath, you know, things along those lines, you know, get in on the recharging with him. You're already in the room anyway, so you might as well make it a pleasant vibration where the two of you are enjoying some aromatherapy and a drink or the two of you are relaxing or the two of you massage each other, you know, um, one time somebody gave me these gloves. They were like uh, terry cloth gloves and you put them on your hands and washed your body. You know, you washed up with them. They were kind of like a, a, it's basically a rag, but they made them into gloves. And um, the lover I had at the time, we both would take one glove and get in the shower and wash each other. Aquarius love water. A lot of us love water. We're the water bearers. So we love warm water. Um, some of us love showers, baths, hot springs, oceans. Uh, some of us even like cold water. You know, I don't like cold water as much. I really love warm water, though. So Aquarius is a, a water bearer. Do something with water, you know, get in a tub with them, you know, that kind of thing. You know, just kind of go along with his flow. If he's flowing nice and mellow, just flow nice and mellow with him. But if you keep on, you know, if he's flowing mellow and trying to recharge and you come in the room, nag, 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 after a while, we get tired of that, you know, and that's when we really shut down. And after enough of those shutdowns, we start to wonder, should I even be here? So don't, you know, don't make yourself into a, don't put yourself into a position where he's sitting there like, she getting on my nerves. <laughs> you know, you want to be the opposite. You want him to be like, it's so refreshing to be with her. When I'm tired, when I'm, when I'm down, she's the one that re helps me recharge. That's what you want him to say in his mind and to people when it comes out of his mouth. You want to be his sanctuary, or at least a part of it. You know, you want to be the one who has his drink ready on the rocks when he comes in. You know what he drink, have his drink ready. You know, you know what things help him relax. Does he like chocolate? Does he like desserts? You know, you know these things. You've been with him for three years. So just look at the things that would help him get into that mood. He'll be a lot more talkative and a lot more receptive when he feels like your energy is cooperating with his. OK, so it's not that he doesn't like you or doesn't want to talk to you. It's just that he from what you're telling me, he's on all the time. You said he works on the weekends, too. He's on all the time. He is always doing his thing. He's always talking and, and smiling and he's always doing that. And when he comes home, he just wants to unwind. He wants to rest. You know, it's nothing personal against you. It's just the fact that that's what he needs. And if you become part of his sanctuary, if you become part of that process, you'll come to find a lot more harmony and a lot more happiness. And he will start to open up more. The better he feels, the more he'll talk. The more comfortable I am with somebody, the more I talk to them. The more I tell them things, the more I admit things I might not admit, you know, the more I let myself go, you know. So be a part of his sanctuary. And if he's worth it, if he's a good man, like you said he is, and, you know, this is the only thing that bothers you, be a part of his sanctuary. Give, help him find that peace. Because that's all he's looking for. He's just looking to recharge. Okay? See you later.